Hey guys, um, today I want to do something a little bit different. I want to, you know, start telling a story on this channel. Um, it's, it's possible that my individual Zodiac readings might resonate with you and that might be your continued story if you've been following me for a while and then this reading might not resonate with you. You know, this is probably going to be for a select group of people on my channel that need to hear these messages and the story will be continued. I mean, if I get enough viewers and enough interest in this, then I'll, I'll continue telling that story. So, you know, please, um, you know, comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more of, of this on the, on the channel. I've been also doing my, uh, in my Zodiac readings too, though, uh, twice a month. Okay, what does your person want to tell you? I'm jealous. I'm afraid that you already are or that you will end up dating someone else. Sorry, let me get the camera situated. My life is busy and chaotic. I feel numb. I'm running on autopilot. I'm romantic and emotional. I usually hide it well, but you bring out my softer side. I can't figure out who I am or what I want. You've been showing up in my dreams lately. I often think about the last night we saw each other. And then I've got you hold the path or you hold the key, clear the path for love to enter. At this time, it's best for me to it's best to wait for me to reach out first. I have a bad habit of taking you for granted, and then yeah. So we've got those. This is an oracle deck I made, by the way, called "For the Love of the Moon." Um, it is available to purchase. Just send me a message. All the oracle decks I've been I'll be using today, I made myself. So if you're interested in buying them, just send me an email. Or if you're interested in the private reading, send me an email. All right, let's get a few more messages. I think about you all the time. The nostalgia hurts deeply. So this is someone who's really missing about, missing you. Um, they're afraid that you'll never forgive them. They're, they just, they, like they said in this card, it's like they have a habit of taking you for granted. So it's like you're probably feeling that connection and feeling that energy and feeling that they're wanting to talk, that they're missing you. But it's like, you know, if you message them again, then it's like that, you know, there's the relief because you're talking again, but at the same time, it's like they didn't really compensate for how they betrayed you or how they ghosted you or whatever it is that they did. It's like they didn't really apologize for that. It's like you went to them and they, it, it, it sets a pattern that it's like predictable that you guys will always come back to each other and you don't want this person to have that that sense that, you know, they'll, you'll always be there. They'll always have you. It's like, they are worried that they've lost you. Like they do feel some fear and anxiety thinking that, you know, maybe this really is it. But I feel like this is someone who really took you for granted before. So it's like, they, they do have that fear, but at the same time, there's this part of them that thinks, you know, he, oh, he or she will always come back to me. Like we'll always find each other again. Like, I can focus on my life and like they'll we'll we'll come back together. Like there's there's a little bit of fear. But I think that there's um let me confirm this with my pendulum first. Okay, there's some there's some energy at play here where um it's like a power struggle with you guys almost. Where I feel like how do I explain this energy? Like I I, I think that I think that when you start pulling away or you start focus, maybe, maybe, I think maybe, um, you've been, I don't want to say obsessive in the past, but it's like you've hold, held onto them so tightly that they can energetically feel that. And especially if this person has commitment issues, it's like they, it's like, there's, there's a lot going on telepathically. You have to realize that it's not just as simple as, oh, you're not physically talking or you're, 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 you know, only saying this and that it's like, no, if, if you're energy is holding on to them. They can feel that in the 5D. They can feel that in a on a telepathic level. And so even if you go months and months without talking, it's like they still know that they have you because they you have that red cord connecting you guys. You know what I mean? So like they can still sense that you haven't really gone anywhere even if you're not physically in contact. And I almost feel like there's been a pattern where in the past you've been the one that's caved and messaged them because maybe they do start worrying. Like maybe, you know, after a long period of time without talking, 
they they kind of start getting anxious and then you feel that energy like psychically you feel like they're thinking about messaging you or you start thinking about them out of nowhere after maybe you know months of not talking they just pop up and you can kind of psychically sense that you're you're feeling their energy that they're missing you and then you cave and you message them and then it just sets it back to square one where they're like oh yeah I still have her I still have him and then it's like you got to wait another few months and then that energy builds up again and then it's like you just you 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 go out there too soon you know what I mean like if you feel them if this is your story again this isn't going to be everybody's story it's totally possible that you're going to resonate with my individual zodiac videos that I post and that's that's your energy group and that's your that's your energy group and that's your story um and this is this could may or may not be your energy group so you know if it doesn't resonate it's it's not for you but but for those that this is resonating, like this person keeps taking you for granted, but you have to get out of this pattern. It's like, it's like you kind of pull away a little bit or you focus on other things and then they slowly, they, they had a deep, a, they really deeply took you for granted. And and so it's like they, they start feeling, you know, that maybe you're, you're focusing on other things and then it's like as soon as they, as soon as you feel that energy, like as soon as you start feeling feeling them thinking about you, feeling them wanting to reach out. You just get impatient and you reach out first. And then it sets you back to square one where they take you for granted again. You have to not make contact with this person. If this is your story, you have to not make contact because otherwise you're always going to be in this pattern where they're always taking you for granted. But I want to say that you have someone new coming into your life. So you might not even want that. You might not even want this person that only wants you when they can't have you you know what I mean like that's someone that has commitment issues that's not someone that is that's not someone that's going to have an easy time uh committing you know but let's look into the let's oh I guess this card wants to come out shyness fear of rejection okay let's look into the past person then we're going to look into this future person as well past person past person past person honeymoon vacation okay we got shyness fear of rejection domination control uh, courage assertiveness forward movement divine intervention and synchronicity adventure honeymoon and vacation i kind of feel like the energy of like the the fear of loss has to be greater than their fear of commitment and it hasn't been you know we have like a fear of rejection but it's like they kind of mask that with control issues and your guides are pushing them to, to move forward with this and have that new start with you um, what else is going on with the old person? Sadness. New perspective. Reconciliation. So I think this person is like, maybe they cause their own pain. And it's like, your person is going through an energy shift right now. They had to learn and grow and heal on their own. And they have this new perspective coming in and they're wanting this reconciliation. What is the key to this reconciliation? Love offer, commitment, end of a pattern, breakthrough. Yeah, I think that's kind of what I was saying. Like, so we have end of a bad pattern, end of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom. We have sex and seduction. We have isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Um I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like it's, it's like you miss them. That's like, that's your home to you. That's, you know, the person you love. And so it's hard to get into this seductive energy. It's hard to pull them in. It's hard to be patient. It's hard to wait for them. Um, you know, you, you feel this isolation, this loneliness, this emptiness, and it's, it just makes it difficult for you to really end this pattern that you have where they just keep it's like you guys are, are connected, like you keep coming back in and out of each other's lives, but they always take you for granted because they know that you're always going to be there. They know that you're always going to come back to each other. And that's an issue that they just keep taking you for granted like that. Um, so I feel like, I mean, I personally wouldn't want this. I think the cards are saying, yes, you probably could. If you get in the seductive energy and you pull them in and you do your love drawing rituals, like 
maybe you probably eventually could get this person back. But I mean, do you really want someone who only realizes what they have, like when they've lost you, you know what I mean? Like, or when they've lost you for a long period of time, it's like this back and forth. So you need to get out of that energy. You need to change, you need to shift things in your favor so that they're the one chasing you. Cause right now your energy is still chasing them. And they're starting to think about you again. You're starting to show up in their dreams. You're, you're starting, you're, they're starting to really wonder what you're doing. Like, okay, it's been a few months, but it's almost like, I mean, whether you're male or female, this is just an example. It could be male, male, female, female. You, you know, you could be the male, they could be the female. Whatever the story is, it's, this applies to the LGBT community too. It's, it's whatever energy you're in, masculine or feminine. But it's almost like a little boy who like, you know, like at the, you ever see like the parents at the, at the, at the mall with their sons, like the mother with her son and, and the little boy like, you know, runs ahead or hides behind a corner or you know tries to tries to see if the mother will panic he wants that attention he wants that reaction he wants his mother to you know come find him he wants to test the waters and see how far he can go before the mother panics and grabs him it's that kind of energy here where it's like your person is like that little boy that that runs ahead and hides behind a, a building or hides behind a ledge and if you just keep walking and you focus on yourself, that little boy is going to be the one that panics and he's going to think, oh my God, like I'm losing, I'm losing my person. Like where, you know what I mean? Like you ever see that? Like the little boy will run to his mother because he's afraid he's going to left behind. He doesn't want that. But instead, when just when you're, when that little boy starts getting anxiety, it's like you, it's like the mother, like you, you, you grab him and you're like, oh my God, where were you? I was so worried about you. Come back to me. And then... It's, it's like the chases, you know what I mean? It's just that kind of energy. It's, it's like it, you're just in this repetitive energy and you got to get out of it. Otherwise your person is always going to take you for granted. Your person is always, they're never going to feel lucky to have you. They're always just going to think like, oh, we'll always be together. We'll always find each other, whatever, you know? Um, but I want to say like, I personally don't think it's like this when it's when it's true love and I could totally be wrong but like I personally I would not settle for this because I want someone that I can be cuddly and sweet and vulnerable and romantic with and have them appreciate that energy this person has deep rooted deep rooted commitment issues so it's like you can end that pattern to a degree like you can get in the seductive energy you can pull them towards you you can stay in their power and you probably, if you can actually ride it out and wait for them to text you and not cave when you feel their energy and not cave when you start feeling them in your dreams or, you know, that's, that's the energy you're feeling. That's that energy where you're like, oh my God, they're thinking about me finally. And then you want to text them, but you got to wait for them to text you. But it's like, do you really want that though? Cause you can end this pattern and or cycle and attract a better type of person. Like you don't, I'm just telling you the story. Like I'm telling you what the energy is, but it's, it doesn't mean that I encourage you guys to go for this though. I'm just telling you what's going on. Um, because it's like you I feel like you could have someone that just loves you when they have you like they know what's right in front of them they they make you feel beautiful they make you feel wanted they they appreciate you they appreciate your energy you collect on you connect on a soul level it's like I don't think this other person makes you feel beautiful I don't think they make you feel attractive or handsome they just it's like you're kind of old reliable to them to be honest and it's familiar, like there is that love based on familiarity, but it's like you could have something else. You could have someone, you could have someone that just gets you on a deeper level than this person does. I mean, don't get me wrong, your person is growing and healing. Like they are having a bit of a perspective shift. They're, they're better than they were before, but there's still those deep rooted um, insecurities and fears and deep rooted uh, abandonment issues and traumas that have created their commitment issues and and so the, I think there's some part of them that might always run you know it, it's like maybe you can have a relationship but they still might run when things get really deep and serious um, unless they got a lot of a lot of help for it unless they got some mental help for the these deep-rooted abandonment issues I just feel like it could be the same old story with them um, any final cards here so sorry for um 
Yeah, it could be someone that chose someone else or chose some kind of third party over you. Mental instability, yeah, they need to address that codependency addiction. Like, they need to address that mental instability. Otherwise, they're just always going to run. They're always going to be in their pride. They're always going to be being stubborn, codependent, um, mentally unstable. It's like they're always going to be in that energy where they run. So you got to decide, is that worth it to you? It's like, I think you're in that romantic energy where it's like all you can think about is is getting them back. But it's like you know, ground yourself, balance for a second, um, take a step back. Like, is this really what you want? You know what I mean? Like try to just like center yourself. Cause when you lose someone, it's like, there's that dynamic. It's like you get stuck in that romantic energy where you're like, you're romanticizing all the good times and just kind of downplaying all the bad times. But it's like, be honest with yourself. Think about how this person made you feel. Think about how unattractive you felt with them. Think about how they took you for granted. Think about their control issues, how they sort of, you know, I think for some of you, it's like they wanted to be like bigger than you, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain this, like an ego, ego struggle or something like they wanted to, for those that are like in business together or something, it's like they, they wanted to, um, be like the, the main focus if that makes, I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like, you could do better than this is all I'm saying. It's, it's your choice. It's saying if you stick it out and you don't message them, you don't cave, you keep pulling them in. Yes, eventually you may get a text message. But again, it's it's without this, without this person healing their commitment issues, it's only going to go so far. You know, it, it's like it's it's it can only go so far if they refuse to to fix this. But anyway, um, I'm sorry that I didn't do the, the new love. I got, you know, caught up with this so I figured I'm gonna make a second video so for those of you that are wanting to know about new love uh check back for that one I'm gonna post it at the same time so it'll be up thank you for watching